Welcome to TNF Nightcap presented by Allstate. Oh, God, I wish you guys could hear all the things we were saying when we weren't on air. I just said to Coach Payton, I said, have you ever come up to a desk post game? And he said to me, we worked at a desk, Carissa. Huh. Have you ever come up, though, while you were a coach to a post game set? Never. I mean, I yeah, there we go. Never, then our never. thank you. So, then we feel uh, very honored uh, to have you here. Awesome. Sure. Good to have you up here. Bo Nix, uh, you were a little late, but we'll get to that in a second. Bueller. 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 Uh, <laughs> Bo, you know I got to start with your coach. Uh, a homecoming for you now that it's over, and you told me yesterday it would only be fun if you won. Now that you got the W, how do you feel? I mean, obviously you feel great. You're happy for the players. I thought on a short week. You can always find these reasons why why it's going to be difficult, and we handled the week well. And uh, and it was a short week. Obviously, what was what was difficult after the fact is you know, we talk about we're in session right now, we're making memories right now, um, and it was hard coming here because there were so many so many of those memories. Um, and I tried to downplay it as best I could, but. Um, these guys, these, it's about the players, and uh, I mean, they played their tail off, and, and I felt bad. New Orleans is nicked up and, and in, you know, got a lot of injuries, but uh, our guys prepped well, and uh, it was a little different, different being here. And we're seeing that moment there with Cam and with Alvin, and you told me yesterday that that's when it would really hit you. Those, uh, are, those are a lot of my guys, yeah. and I say that, like, respectfully. Yep. Um, those relationships, like, you just, that's what we're in the business for. And uh, and I think that's what I probably missed the most when I was out doing media. Yeah, Bo, let's talk about that. You look at it, you know, coach is obviously going to do what he does. He's a tremendous leader. But coming to this game, you you guys know this means a lot to him. What did it mean tonight to come out? Because you could feel there was an energy, there was a passion of this football team and the way y'all played in this game. Yeah, I thought we, uh, you know, had great energy from the jump. Um, I thought, it, you know, it meant a lot to us. You could tell throughout the week, you know. Uh, we didn't, like he said, we didn't make a lot out of it, but we knew it was going to be important to, you know, not only him, but we have so many, you know, guys that have put a lot into this organization. So, um, you know, it was good to see how we reacted, how we responded. Um, it was just a fun football game from, from the jump. You guys, you guys look like you're having a lot of fun out there. There was a few designed runs. One, you got loose on. You put, you lowered your shoulders on a DB, then tried to hand him the ball. Then oh, you came to your senses <laughs> and then handed it to the ref. I said, I said, okay now, well, bro. Well, there's a story behind that. Please I played, tell me. I played with him in high school. Yes. So Kool-Aid oh, yeah. and I played in oh. high school, won two state championships together. And uh, he was talking smack to me, too. You know, he almost, uh, I guess, stripped it from behind. So. Um, I was just kind of messing with him, but I, I always like fun to play guys that you play with. I like that. I like that. That was fun. Coach, how about uh, Drew Brees running out before the game and kind of the emotion that you were feeling just seeing him and the way he was recognized by everybody? Yeah, look, um, he, he, he was everything, you know, to all of us. And, and I'm sitting here because of his career. Um, he actually invented that. that He didn't invent the Huda chat, champ, but he invented coming out and then we we would have these guest people do it and so I, I knew when he was here this evening uh that he would be doing that and then there were a bunch of former teammates that were all on our super bowl team um that were here to recognize him we snuck over in the afternoon saw him briefly um it's the first of many i mean that's that's the hall of fame there's a ring of honor up here yep. we'll just keep going but uh he's meant so much to the city um not only the organization, it, it came at a time right after Katrina when it became more than football. Mm -hmm. And uh, and for that, uh, what he did for my career and, and all the coaches, you know, we all uh, flourished while he excelled. And so it was great seeing him. So can you talk about like your this is it, like your second stand in coaching or whatever yeah. you want to count it. Is there a different appreciation, a different appreciation for the moments, the players, and being in that moment? 100%. Yeah. You, you, um, last night, Chris asked me, what did you miss when you were just doing you know, media for a year? And, and I, there were two or three things that came to mind, but one thing is, like, everything matters in season. Like, every hour, the clock, you know, it, so you miss that action. And then you miss being around young people and being around young players and like I'll bring up like we we play music before meetings that's indigenous to the city we're going and so Fats Domino's playing 
And did I not ask you who's Fats Domino? And this guy doesn't know who Fats Domino is. And that pissed me off, really. I could be his mother. Because he's from That's here. Why. No, Fats Domino <laughs> passed away right here uh, on the West Bank. And, you know, there was a time when Elvis Presley turned and pointed to him and said, he's the king of rock and roll. And this guy didn't know who he was. So being around young people keeps you young and pissed off. Well, do you, do you even have the, the Ferris Bueller remark? Do, do you, have you ever seen so that? I, you did a great that, job with your social that, media. Well, I had watched that movie one time. It was on the plane at some point. Um, and so I, I liked it. I knew what he was what talking about. What year were you born? 2000. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Uh, 2000. Right. I graduated so movie, high school in 2000. The movie came out in 86, <laughs> all right? And uh, he just has some of those traits, and it was... It was. Hey, I think he had, I said he had a great day off. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I think I said Touché. it. Um, that sometimes is our love language, and you know, worry more when we don't care that much. Uh, I have two questions, and I know you guys have to go. But uh, Bo, I want to talk to you. I had the privilege of working with Sean for the one year he took off from coaching, and we talk and we hear all the time about culture. He created that culture for the one year he was even at Fox. How would you describe the cre culture he's creating in Denver? Well, it's kind of like, you know, you can take this week as an example. We have a short week. Um, we got to work quick. We knew how important it was, but we didn't make it bigger than just football. And we went out there. We played. We, um, you know, had great effort. We played as a team. You know, I thought, you know, our culture is really good right now, and that's how you can succeed in these short weeks. You kind of re rely on your culture, and you rely on the guys. And we've kind of, you know, found our way the last few weeks. We're a tough football team. You know, we've been through some things, and I think it's just going to continue to develop and, uh, and get better as we go. Coach is the ultimate motivator, and before you were gracious enough to come out here, you uh, addressed your locker room. Let's take a listen. Mm -mm. I'm proud of, listen, I'm proud of every one of you. On a short week, <coughs> I'm telling you, and it's, this, is, this is any type of, well, it's difficult. We can always use that as a cop-out, but, man, the mental grit and the wherewithal to say, hey, we're going to go on the road Thursday night um, and play the way you did, all right? But, but you prepared during the week that way. And we'll <laughs> <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate every one of you, and the reason why this was hard is we're in session right now. And I tell you all the time, I'm not going to remember a lot of things when I get older, but I'm going to remember these moments. Ah, a beautiful moment awesome right coach. there. Is that a fog machine yes. that we had? Yeah, in the we, oh, yeah, we got 